small soldiers. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Robots Paradise Cassetticons. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have some lovely images of our Cassetticons. We have Corvus, Shadow, and Furrib. Oh, they're so clever. Up top, RP01B warning. On the bottom, RP01B warning. Oh, this side of the box, RP01B, RP01B. On the back of the box, we have some obligatory product shots, and you have bios for all three of them if you want to read bios. Hooray for bios, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included, you get not just one, not just two, but three collector's cards. You get one for Shadow, and again, just some product shots, tech specs, same thing we saw on the back of the box, fur rib, pictures, deck spec, same thing on the back of the box, and for Corvus, pictures, deck specs, same buy we saw on the back of the box, so hooray for cars, not once, not twice, but thrice. And moving right along, here we have the Cassetticons from Robot Paradise, aka Fans Toys. And here we have Corvus, we have Shadow, and we have Furrib. And this is their take on Laserbeak, Ravage, and Rumble, or Frenzy, or Rumble, or Frenzy, whatever you want to call him. I'm calling him Rumble, but you can call him whatever you please. But yeah, these are some more minions for their sound wave. So, as you can see... They all come in little cassette cases, which is quite nice. And we'll just crack them open and take them out. And we'll take a look at each one of them individually. No, that, that stays, that goes. <laughs> so, <laughs> doing things a little backwards here, sorry. Oops, don't come apart on me. There you go, Boop. there you go. You stay up, Boop. there you go, okay. So here we have the Cassetticons. And first we'll take a look at Corvus, aka Laserbeak. You can see there's some, you know, visible guns and whatnot, but all in all though, I mean he folds up to the shape. He's supposed to fold up into, you can see a lot back here, a lot of visible stuff. Syndrome, you know, it's there, but yeah, no, considering what has to happen, it's not too bad. You get some nice paint apps going in there, trying to give it that cassette look. But all in all, not too shabby there for Corvus. And here we have Shadow, a.k.a. Ravage. And again, a lot of just visible stuff here. You know, some of the not too much uh, stuff lines up perfectly as far as looking like a straight-on cassette. But hey, it tries. It tries. But you get the nice paint apps as well on the other side. Just a whole lot of nothing. But hey, again... It's in, the, uh, it's, a, it's in a vague cassette shape, so it works. And of course we have Furib, a.k.a. Rumble, a.k.a. Frenzy, a.k.a. whatever you want to call him. He's the blue one. And he's the best one. He folds up into the most cohesive cassette shape. But yeah, nice metallic blues going on there. Looks quite good. Definitely the best looking one of the bunch as far as the cassette mode goes, in my opinion. But there you have that. Uh, for comparison, uh, here it is with one of the Ocular Max cassettes. And obviously, no, the Ocular Max cassettes are bigger because they're the size of actual full-size cassettes. But just so you can see how that works out. And here they are with their Masterpiece counterparts. So you can see how they look with their official selves. You can see how that works out. You can get them all on screen. <laughs> there we go. Well, you can see here. But there you have Masterpiece Ravage with the Robot Paradise Ravage. The Robot Paradise Frenzy Rumble with the official Masterpiece Frenzy Rumble. Have them upside down, but you get the idea. And of course, the official Laserbeak with the Robot Paradise Laserbeak. So there you have that. And here they are with their G1 cells. Now, granted, that's that's buzzsaw, not laser beak, but hey, it's what I have. And this is, you know, frenzy, rumble, rumble, frenzy. But again, it's the only one I have. But there you go. You can see them with their uh, G1 y counterparts because they're precious. Oh, so precious. 
And last but not least, here they are with the Rumble Frenzy or Frenzy Rumble from Robot Paradise. So you can see the four Cassetticons they have for us at the moment. So there you go. And of course, the Cassetticons can fit into their sound wave, and you can't hold two cassettes, so you can drop one back here. And put one right there, and voila, you can hold two cassettes and you can eject. And then you just pull the lever and eject. And you know, you can do all the, all of the ejecting, all of the ejecting can be done. And we can throw Ravage in here. And Laser Beak. And again, they can fit in there. Oops. Ah! They can fit in there just fine. I swear they can. Just a little bit, a little tight there. Laser beak's a little tight. Laser beak's a little tight in there. There we go. Boom. Mm. There we go. See if I can straighten out. Voila. There you go. <laughs> Laser beak's a little harder to get in there, but you can totally do it. And then, of course, eject and lots of ejecting. And now he's kind of stuck in there. Come on, laser beak. Come on, laser beak. There you go. And then ravage, eject. Okay, all the eject. All the ejecting can be done is my point. So that is basically it for the cassette modes. What you see is what you get. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> okay. So who should we start off with? We'll start off with uh, laser beak here. So to get laser beak transformed up, what you're going to do is come back here. You're going to unfold the wings like so and you're going to take these side sections here you're going to bring them up on this base hinge here so bring it up on this hinge first take this little gun this will swing over to the side like that and then you rotate this entire thing around like so and you have that done and second verse just like the first just bring that up swing that around and then swing all of this around like so so you got that done. Once you do that, you can bring the wings back and rotate them like so. Then you just grab a hold of his beak, pull the head out like that, and then you just flip down the feet, rotate forward, flip down, rotate forward, angle those wings how you want, and there you have laser beak in is beast mode and it's a good looking little laser beak a very good looking little laser beak in my opinion let's get it close here so we can take a look at that noggin focus camera there we go you can see very nice head sculpt nice yellow for the eye there got some nice chrome there for the gun some silver paint right there you got a little bit of red there on the wings again keeping it simple keeping it nice and cartoony but all in all, looks quite, quite nice. Now articulation wise, uh, the mouth cannot open and close, but the head is on a hinge. So you can look up, can look down, the neck can move back, can move forward, can do a little oomps, 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 can do all kinds of that. Uh, the wings, you can see they're all double hinge here. So you can kind of bring those up. They're on a hinge there. So you can bring those up and down some. And little feeties can rotate and they can move. Move up, move forward and back a bit. And you can also come here to the forehead and you can flip up a little, little spy camera here, which is a pretty neat little touch. You can have that going on if you want to. Things you can do if you want to do it, but all in all, not too shabby. Looks quite, quite good in my opinion. And we'll bring Soundwave back in for a second because Laserbeak can incorporate onto Soundwave. You do have these little tabs on either shoulder that are meant for these little slots on the bottom of Laserbeak's feet. And we can take Laserbeak and perch him on Soundwave's shoulder if you want. And you just hold on there nice and secure. Or if you don't want that, you can rotate his arm around. And there is a tab on the forearm as well. And you can perch laser beak right there on the forearm if you want to have that look going on. So hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. 
And now we'll move on to Shadow, aka Ravage, or if you want to be fancy, Ravage. Um, but to transform Ravage up, um, you want to come into here, just kind of split all this. You see there's a little post and port. There's also little tabs that go on either side of the tail. So undo that and just swing the tail out and just bring those legs down. Uh, you want to come here to the hind legs, and they're on a double hinge, so you're just going to just swing them out and back like that and once you've done that a little hip missile just going to come down on a double hinge and you flip up a little fin right there you got that side all done and again second verse just like the first just swing that out and back bring a little hip missile down flip up a little fin and there you have the back all done, bring the head forward, and you're going to take these panels here, swing them up on that double hinge, and you can bring the leg down, swing that up on that double hinge, bring the leg down, and there are little clips here, they are going to clip it on either side just to keep all that secure, so just flip those in, like so, come on. This one's a little stiffer. There we go. Get that all situated. And there you go. There you have Ravage in beast mode. And a nice looking Ravage as well, if I do say so myself. And I do because I'm the only one in the room, but you can see. Nice head sculpt. Got some nice metallic red there for the eyes. Again, very simplistic, keeping it nice and cartoony. You got the hip missiles there, done in a nice silver chrome. Got gray for the legs. Oh no, looks pretty good. I mean, the back, I mean, if you look at it from certain angles, you can tell things are kind of thin back there, but from most angles, does not look too bad. Now, articulation-wise, the mouth can open and close. They even painted the inside of the mouth. I don't know if you can see that, but the inside of the mouth is painted red, which is a nice touch. Uh, the head can look up and down. Uh, the head itself, a little bit of a ball joint, can move up and down a little bit, can also move side to side some. A little bit, very slight bit of rotation there. The front legs can rotate, can move forward and back. You got forward and backward movement there. A little paws can move up and down. The hind legs can rotate, can do a full 360. They're on ball joints, they can move in and out, they can swing. They can't move outward though, very, very slightly. Then you have that knee joint that moves forward and back. And again, those rear paws can move up and down. And the tail can't do much, it can move down some, but a tails, you know how they work. They're tails. Yay, tails. And that is it for Ravage. And last, but certainly not least, we have Furib, a.k.a. Rumble, a.k.a. Frenzy. For me, he's Rumble. You call him whatever you want. But to get him transformed, you're going to bring the legs down. You're going to remove the weapons, which store in the legs. Just pop those out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Put those off to the side. Now the legs you want to, there's a little hinge in here that goes into a divot, so kind of angle it up so you can kind of rock the leg out. Sometimes it's a little hard to do, but it's doable. There we go. There we go. Swing that leg out and you can kind of see that hinge just kind of drops into this little notch in there. So bring the leg down, rotate it forward. Uh, the foot is going to rock down and forward like so. Come in here, flip out his little heels. Like that, there you have a leg all done. Same thing on the other side. Just kind of rock that out, bring that down, rotates, and rock that foot down and forward. Flip out that tiny, tiny little heel. Tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little heel. Flip that out, <laughs> like so. And once you do that, you take the whole lower body, you just extend it down until it thoops into place and there we have his lower body all done and now we can move on up to the upper body here so as far as the arms go you're just going to swing that down swing down the forearm and then come in here flip out his little fist 
And same thing on the other side, bring that down. Swing the forearm down and flip out his little fist. Like that. Then you just come back here, flip up his head, rotate it around. And we're almost done here, almost. We're going to bring in his weapons. And you just flip out the barrel and flip down the fin. Flip up the barrel, flip down the fin, and these will just plug into his back. Like so, and like so, and just like the other one, they don't stay in super securely. They're pretty easy to knock out, but... Once you get everything situated, they'll stay in well enough, but... And there you go! There you have Ferib in his robot mode! And he looks just like the other one, just in blue, but hey, still nicely done. Again, my only complaint is just where the shoulders sit. I think the shoulders just kind of sit in a weird place, but all in all, looks pretty good. And we're getting close here so we can take a look at the noggin. Focus on that noggin. There we go. Again, nicely done head sculpt. You got the nice silver there on the chest and nice metallic paint used. Some silvers, some reds, some yellows, all in all, a very nicely, nicely done figure. And there's the back. Yeah, legs are hollow, but they, they need to be due to transformation. But not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, the head can rotate, can look... Whoa, that went all the way... Do you see that? Went all the way across the table. It can look up, can do it to a squirrel. Do that. And it can do a full 360 arms. Can do a full 360. Um, you have to kind of pull them out to get them to do that. Arms can do a full 360. They can... Move in and out. That's going to fall out. You just stay there. <laughs> they can move in and out. You can do that if you want to break his arms. Hey, it thing that moves if you need it to move. Elbows, you have over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You just have inward movement due to transformation. Uh, nothing at the waist. Legs can move forward. That far. Back. That far. Outward. Can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. Yeah, lots of joints here at the knee. So you have full range of movement there. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down. You do have some rotation, but these side panels kind of get in the way, but you can get some rotation. And you also have some ankle tiltage, which is very hard to engage because they're on ball joints, but it's a very stiff ball joint. But you do get some ankle tiltage as well. Now, fur rib here does include some accessories. You do get some optional heads. You get... Kind of happy, smiling, ha, head. You get one of those. And you get kind of an angry, constipated, grrr, face. So, hey, things you can do if you want to do it. And the head is just on a mushroom peg. Just kind of pop it out. Hit the camera in the process. <laughs> and you just pop the new head in. And voila, now he's all grrr, grrr, a grrr. So... As always, things you can do, and you also get is pile drivers right here, just like the ones that came with the other one. And you can just push this section here, that will pop out. And this is spring loaded for pile driving action here. And of course, you get two of them. And to use these, you're going to flip in the hand, you're going to extend the shoulder out like that. And then just flip up the uh, forearm and then rotate the arm up like that. Flip in the hands. Rotate that forearm up. Extend the shoulder out. Rotate up. And these will just plug into the pile drivers like so and like so. And there you go. Now you have rumble ready for some rumbling. So there you go. So there you have that, and now for comparison, uh, here they are with their uh, with their Ocular Max counterparts. Uh, again, yes, much much larger, but you can see how that works out. And here they are with their masterpiece counterparts 
Masterpiece Ravage and Masterpiece Laser Beak. You can't see them very well. I'll just hold these up for you. <laughs> there you can see Masterpiece Laser Beak with the Robot Paradise version. Again, the two, the two Ravages, the two Ravages. And of course, the two Rumbles here. So, there you have that. And here they are with their uh, G1 equivalents. You know why. You know why. We all know why. Because they're precious! Oh! So precious. So, there you go! So there you have the Cassetticons, and yeah, it's nice to have uh, some more minions for Soundwave. That's always a good thing. I would definitely love to have a Ratbats and uh, some of the others, you know. But hopefully, maybe we'll get all of Soundwave's minions from Robot Paradise. Who knows? That would be nice, but you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the future brings, but all in all, a nice set of figures right here. I am quite pleased with them, so... There you go! Now, if you would like this or any of Fans Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. For availability, there'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Robot Paradise Cassetticons, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face! Hey, Soundwave, can I borrow Laserbeak for a little while? Why? Oh, you know, I just like feeling like an old-timey pirate every now and then. That's weird. Hey, Soundwave, I'm gonna go knock down some walls. Why? Nah, just because I feel like it. Ah. He gets like that sometimes. Okay, well, where's Ravage? Shouldn't you be keeping tabs on that one? Seems kind of wild. Ravage is well-behaved. I have the utmost trust in Ravage. Oh, my face!